What up friends, let's talk about my favorite cannabis stock and that's Sundial Growers, S-N-D-L, ticker for them. Now, big news going on with this, I'm kind of late to the game talking about this, I realize that, but what we're going to be talking about is still an active situation we are seeing right now with Sundial Growers. Now, here's the situation what we're seeing. Sundial has spent some money here and they have bought Alcana. Now, Alcana has been in the news the last few years here. This is a retailer of alcohol in two Canadian provinces, Alberta and British Columbia. It has 171 locations in two provinces. Also has a 63% equity interest in Nova Cannabis. A Canadian retailer operates 62 cannabis stores in Alberta. Now listen, this is a pretty big situation we're seeing here with Sundow. We know that Sundow has money. We know that they have almost a billion dollars in cash because they took two stock offerings at the beginning of the year back to back and they walked away with almost 900 million dollars at that time. So, so obviously they're spending some money right now. And we've seen Sundow do this before. They have bought into other companies, other cannabis companies. They have done things like this before in the past. And the joke has been made with Sundial already in the past that, is this a cannabis company or an investment company? And we're still seeing that now. The CEO just had this to say. Zach George said about the deal, it provides a consistently profitable revenue stream for the company so that it can patiently wait for some of its bets to pay off, such as its 18% stake in Indiva, which is another cannabis company. They even deal in cannabis candies that you can eat, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of old news. They, I've talked about that deal, like that happened this year actually, but very early on into this year. So friends, I have always been very bullish on Sundials. If you know me, you know my past with Sundial. Um, I have made a ton of videos on these guys. And every time I tell people I'm still very bullish on them because this is just not a cannabis company. This is a company that makes a lot of investments into its future. And once again, we're seeing that that right now with what they're doing and it's pretty much cut down the middle right now with how people feel about the situation there's a lot of people going what are they doing right now getting involved in this situation with alcohol and then of course you had the other side going this is genius this is a great idea if they put their spin on this this is really going to take off now talking about that spin obviously I have always been a person that likes Sundial for their aesthetics I really think they have very pleasing aesthetics and I've always said that they they really cater to the genre of women and I think that's very positive I think that's very smart because a lot of cannabis companies you'll notice are very like rugged for guys and you know and Sundial really focuses on a clean cut look, something that would just be sitting on your dresser, on your kitchen counters. They have very nice looking packaging plus their products. And I really do think that goes a long way. I mean, let's be honest, when you go clothes shopping, you're looking for what looks the best. I mean, I think that goes down the line with whatever you're looking at in the store, whether it's drinks, it's food, you're always looking for what is pleasing to your I. Now about this deal a little more. According to Sundial's management, one of the positives of the deal will be the 15 million boost in EBITDA earnings before interest and taxes from synergy found between the two companies when every dollar of profit counts in the cannabis industry. 15 million is a big deal. Very big deal it is, yes. So with this deal, a lot of people are changing their tune with what's going on. Like I said, there's two different camps here, but this is kind of drawing people to, um, you know, to Sundown right now. They're going, well, this is not only a company that does cannabis, sells cannabis, but now they're in this other industry and it's an investment. Look at it more as an investment than what is really going on that, you know, they're part of this now. They're selling something totally different along with what they're already doing now. 
It's an interesting situation. It could be a genius move here in the next few years once we see Sundial really turn this into something here. Now, when it comes to Sundial stock, let's look at what's been going on. So obviously, like I said, around February, we had the two stock offerings back to back. I mean, they were like, bam, bam. Since then, the stock has pretty much just fell apart. Now, I've always said I feel very comfortable buying Sundial at a 60 to 70 cent range. Now, we've never really seen Sundial bottom out into the 50 cent zone here. It's always stayed in the low 60s, but that's obviously not to say that this can't get worse right now. This is a deal that is split down the middle right now with how people feel about the situation. You know, this isn't like Sundial has brought on a new partner to sell what they already do now this is something that they are spending money on they are taking a huge gamble on that this is going to work it's not going to harm sundial the actual sundial company in any way in the future here and this these are sorts of things that either really hype up investors or they scare investors and what we're seeing right now from the actual like stock itself it's not really doing a lot for the overall stock we had a little big push up here into the 70 cent zone that's about it we're not seeing much more happen here now one thing that is interesting sundial has some pretty hot volume i'm going to be, be be totally honest with that we're seeing some pretty nice volume with it on the 21st we had that almost 400 million in volume the next day a little over 100 million and then slowly but surely since then we have been falling back down into this low 50 million volume zone but that's still pretty heavy volume compared to a lot of other stocks right now so friends obviously with this video i'm not talking about like buy in now, sell out tomorrow, buy this, buy there, here, sell here. That's not what I'm trying to say with this. I think most people that come to Sundial are looking for Sundial as a company that they can take into the future. And I like Sundial. I, I, you know, I can't say that enough, but this is me. This is me. Just because I'm saying all this, don't like think like, well, I need to invest in this company. I would do your due diligence on Sundial yourself and really think like, is this a cannabis company that I really want to go with that I like? It's affordable, yes. But Sundial, yes, the stock itself right now is in a little bit of the trenches right now and it needs to get out. We need some news to come out with. They have been picked up in more stores. Some kind of big American deal has taken place. Something like that. And don't forget that cannabis in America still has rules, regulations, when, how, with, who, in what time frame you are with, in what place you can do it at. So you're still dealing with that right now. And I'm very bullish on the thought that cannabis stocks in probably the next, I would say five years, five years, they're really, really gonna blow up because five years from now, probably everywhere in America, cannabis will be legal. It will be sold. Who knows, the stuff could be sold in Walmart at that point. It's happening, it's gonna happen, you can't stop it. And if you're somebody that wants to make money off that, you definitely might wanna look at Sundial. I like them, they cater to a certain kind of person, and that's what really stands out to me because they stand out, and I like that as an investor. I like when things stand out. So friends, with all that said, I love this company, I love the look of them. I think they're tremendous, I think they're awesome. Let me know what you think about Sundial, where it's going, what it could do here. I know a lot of people love this company and they are ride or die sundial people. So friends, remember, be positive, be you, take time to invest in that future of yours. Happy Halloween. And friends, I will talk to you very soon. Bye everyone.